Welcome back to my little tiny houseboat project. After two weeks of rain, this thing was covered up with a tarp. And I was afraid I'd have some damage. Uh, some of the canvas had gotten wet. I checked on it a couple days ago. Some of the canvas did get wet. I was afraid to find buckling roof, but the roof made it out just fine. If y'all not familiar with the project, there's an 8 by 12 cabin on top of an 8 by 22 hull that's sitting on some 18, about 18 foot pontoons. It's tri-tunes made out of barrels. Um, I've been wanting to get this finished. I want to get the canvas done. You see my other videos. Got the back wrapped at canvas. Both sides. It's time for me to do the trimming. Come back glue all my seals and I can put the paint on this is just this, this product is called poor man's fiberglass it's just wood glue canvas and paint it's a very strong product it's fairly easy to do it's hard to make it look pretty um, mine's coming out all right yeah, it's my first time doing it um, so what I'm working on now I pre-cut my front piece I'm gonna do this front today once the front's done next is the roof um, I pre-cut it to where it's going to lay down and follow and this canvas is going to overlap to about right here four inches past my seam. Now this was the excess. I didn't glue it down good because I knew it was coming off. I just marked a straight line and I cut it. I got rid of my uh, sewn edge on the canvas. That's what was here. And where it was glued and I had no intention of gluing the last couple inches down solid. Where it was glued solid, it's tough. Um, I yanked on it and yanked on it and it, it kept tearing and uh, I kept working with a pair of pliers and finally I got it down to this and I'm, I'm calling that good. This is entirely a lot of work to pull off a piece of canvas that's glued on. I got some spots that are, didn't have enough glue. Which is not going to be a problem because when uh, before I lay this over I'm going to tuck some glue underneath it. And I'm overlapping at least a couple inches and I'm gluing this whole seam. It's all, it's all gonna get glued so yeah that that's how i'm working it and uh the way i do it i found an easy way for me i hung a rope give me about a two foot barrier i stapled my canvas all the way to my ceiling i'm only doing a poor man's five glass up to about right here because i'm putting a, a, a finished ceiling that's going to cover anything above this anyway so i'm gonna roll my glue all the way to the top roll my glue across the whole surface and the width of this piece happens to come a foot short from the other side of the boat. So I'm going to roll my glue to a few inches from the end. And then once all this is covered in glue, I untie my rope, drop my canvas, and start spreading it. That's the easiest method i found to work the canvas by yourself. Normally people do poor man's five glass on big, big areas. It's very helpful to have two people. I don't have two people. So this is what I got. This is what I'm doing. Just want to make a short video update. It's been two weeks of bad weather, 60 mile an hour winds, and I'm, man, that tarp held up pretty good. I did come check, as I mentioned, on this side, I had a wet spot of canvas. And I, I feared my, my roof was gone, because this is just regular plywood, and it's thin 3 8 cheap plywood. So when it gets wet, it, uh, it bubbles and delaminates. But, um, today I pulled the tarp off, and I was very happy and surprised. There's no damage to the plywood. The canvas is dry, there's no mold, there's no mildew. Because uh, with the tarp on, today it's, it's, it's about 72 here. Today it was 90 degrees in here. Most of the day I'm getting a late start because I want it to heat up in here before I remove the tarp and it, it done a fine job. So yeah, that's where I stand. I'm going to try to finish up the front today. I think tomorrow I should be off of work around 2 in the afternoon. And the weather's going to be good all week. So I may try to start doing the roof. I gotta work it from the from the back all the way to the front. That way, all my seams overlap. That way, there's no seams facing forward for water to ever get underneath. And then I doubt I'll have enough time to paint this week. Saturday, we have a lot of bad rain coming, so it's supposed to be all day heavy pour down. So I'm gonna have to put a tarp back over this. But uh, once I put the paint, then this canvas becomes waterproof. But I still won't have my windows in. I don't have this. The funds to buy the seals for the for the windows but once i paint it put the windows in and the doors this should be a this should be pretty waterproof i still have to build my seal system for the front door 
the front door is homemade it's already made um, I've got to build my door jams I got my hinges um, I'm gonna leave I got up to four and a half inches above deck of a threshold I'm gonna leave that there to keep any splashing water out of the door seal the rear is getting a I have an RV door um, that's what's going on in the rear and the rest is RV windows I have a uh, plenty view all the way around all the windows were free so that's where I stand that's what my plan is once the canvas is done I need to throw some paint on it put in the doors and windows and then I'm gonna do the closed cell spray foam on the interior everything's gonna be sealed up and I'm putting trying to get an inch and a half to two inch foam sheets for the floor but that's not sold in my area locally um, let's see if we order online. I would like to have two inches of foam sheeting on the floor, and then I'll put some 3 8 plywood and build my floor on top of that. But if I can't get that, I'm gonna go with one inch. It's about $26 a sheet, four by eight of one inch closed cell foam. That's an R7. I'm good with the R7 on the floor. Uh, most houseboats have nothing, so an R7 is pretty good. And um, really, an R7 it. It doesn't matter the thickness of the insulation. Even though I'm putting closed cell foam, I'm only going to be putting an inch, inch to inch and a half thick. Um, closed cell is R6.9 per inch, which uh, I'm not worried about the insulation value too much because my windows are single pane. Those windows are probably an R2 value. So that's be the majority of my heat loss is going to be windows. So it, it really doesn't pay for me to go to the full two inches thick of closed cell on the walls it will give me a lot more strength at two inches but an inch and a half is going to have a lot of strength because um i have plenty of fiberglass insulation that's free it's paid for i don't want to use fiberglass um because i'm going to suffer the insulation value because of my window so whatever i put in there for i'm not putting the insulation for the r value it will gain me a little r value but my weakest link is the windows which is a lower R value so no matter what I put in here insulation is going to be subpar but it's better than nothing the purpose of the closed cell foam is for strength it's going to bond all this wood together um, and it's also going to seal it uh, it should should make it pretty waterproof being this is cheap regular lightweight plywood so uh, I expect within the next month I should be doing closed cell foam in here and then uh, once I do that, it's a matter of interior. Interior should go by quick. And uh, hopefully I can get this little houseboat done by spring. We are uh, almost in the month of February as of today. We're the end of January. I don't know the exact day. I don't pay attention to days, but probably January 31st, if I had to guess. Because uh, I think January 31st is the last day of rifle season for deer over here. And I think that is today. But uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get to work. Let me uh, get my, my my glue laid down, tight bod in three. Uh, I'm glad the front's in the shade because the sun, when the sun hits tight, tight bond three or any other wood glue, it forms a skin on it fast and then it's no longer sticky. I was having that problem when I done the rear wall and the outside of this wall. So when I done this wall canvas, it was at night. I had more time at night to work the glue. Uh, you can work the glue down to 45 Fahrenheit, and that night I believe it was 52, and uh, I had it was easy to spread it. I didn't I only have one little spot where the the glue dried before I got to it. Whereas the rear, when I done this rear wall in the sun, I had multiple spots where it just it wasn't sticking, and that's a small piece of fabric to work. It took me only five minutes after laying the glue to spread the fabric, and the, the glue already formed a shell on it where I did not want to bond to the canvas. So I had to keep peeling off, applying glue, peeling off, and apply glue. So I'm hoping in the shade today, 72 with a little breeze. I'm hoping the front goes well. It's not a lot of surface area, but I do have a lot of windows to cut relieves and work around. Like I've done here, I had to cut the relieves, fold it on, on the corner. And I, I'm glad I mentioned that because I still have to come cut my radius with the router. I have to round this. The windows, the doors, this side's already, already rounded over. That side is not. So that's something I need to do before which makes me really regret hanging the canvas up because now I'm going to have sawdust flying. Ah, <sighs> So, I mean, I even round it. See how that works. Because my window is going to be covering over with a one-inch lip all the way around. That's where the seal is going to take place. But when I round it, it makes it easier, easier to wrap the canvas on a rounder surface. All right, let me get to work. I'll get back to y'all.
Thank y'all.